more than almost anyone else. He is always in the right place at the right time, and it will be the Riven. Hootie played this, I think, once, only this... <laughs> uh, oh, this a mid! Play, and it has not been played since then. Uh, Back up. No smite as well for Proxen. He was taking a scary fight there, had it been hit already by Pole Belter. Uh -oh. Unraveled Earth, he gets the Shizmic Shove as well, and it looks like they're gonna try to be going in. Rainover comes right up, knowing Proxen was actually still holding on that red buff. This may go very wrong Proxen's here. here though. Rainover's actually going so way strong. too hard! He thinks he's gonna get the kill, and Double Bust either gets given back to Proxen. I can't see if it went to Ninja or Hakuo in that one. Pick but up the Seekers and then build towards Belpen, but Proxen getting caught here. Ooh, doubling down on this fight. Proxen. TP coming in from Sarah. Oh, trying to get into range. There's the ulti from him, and it looks like Proxen taking one more hit, flashes over the wall. He tries to get the volley in, but it doesn't count. They're now sitting on an equalizer as they try to dance around that. Seraph, he is overheating, but doing more damage. Can he finish? Probelter off. The shield comes in from Ninja, and they trade one for one, but Proxen is going to come up with another kill. Actually, double for him now. They're looking for Huni, but he's got the wind slash on. They got to be very careful about that. Where's yeah, off? Slow play it. He's still got enough health to make this work for a Riven. The hit on the ninja, the last nice broken flash. wings, the tethered lockdown, and it's a triple kill overall for Proxen. Really well played by MB. They mean long. Their average loss time is over 40 minutes. Good stop by Turtle. He can't block that much. Glacial Fisher hits after, and the team has just split up too much. It was go this way, but he went that way, and Envy are every which way. It looks like Ninja could be the next to go down. That collateral damage, however, could be very big for Envy. Seraph just can't get himself to the back line. Unraveled Earth does not allow them to get any further into the fight, and they have to back up there. A lot of flashing health bars there for Envy, but at the same time, the fact that they're at least able to trade back with losing their AD carry for free is pretty good. Another fight. Turtle is just squeaking out of these ones. A very nice channel for that equalizer to go down, but it's going to be Seraph that falls in his attempt to find the team some kills. And Immortals doesn't even have laps on the side of Envy. Yeah. Coming down the mid lane, Pole Belter will be holding that by himself, but it looks like Ninja is trying to route the back here. Lod gets himself way too far forward. The team wasn't even close on that one. Proxen's able to drop Pole Belter in the dark on the Rainover way over. Not. Rainover is in the front line, and he is not the tankiest, maybe, of the members fighting right now. But it looks like they will be able to get out alive. The Soul Flare is flat. Turtle's really low. Ninja's still going in. It seems like the team had already backed off. And now it's a second guess to call for the fight. Just going for the auto attacks. They connect on the concussive blows in the Winter's Bite. The Wind Slash just misses from Huni. Seraph sidesteps it. And they may be able to finish off Huni as well. Broken Wings is going to come back up. No need to chase him. Flash. Oh. Yeah. That's about all it's Ooh, TP coming in. Bod's dead again. He can't, he did cancel. He said, no way, Jose, not coming in on this one. Hakuo, he has the distance to get out. Rainover going a little too far forward, and they're blowing their flashes to get to safety. I don't know if there's going to be a re-engage, though. So not having those flashes ain't going to matter. Still going on to Ninja here. Immortals in full control. Nice all from Pole Belter, oh. blocking out the team. But Proxen's going in. Hootie's low. That's how you turn the fight on its head. Catch the other team off guard. Look at Wild Turtle pops on the hunt, runs back to the team to give them the remainder of the speed. It may not be enough, though. An overheating Seraph in the middle of the fight as Huni goes down, bleeding all over the place. Immortals are limping away and falling just as fast. That's a double kill for Proxen, and the rest of the team of Immortals are going to make it out alive. Once again, Immortals starts off the fight well. They get the free kill and lot, but they want oh. more. Does he have it? Baby Spider's dead. He's, he's with Adrian now. Oh, Ninja. Did you get yourself into Ooh, trouble? Yeah, did. Very nicely done. A seismic shove right into place to finish it off. Adrian with the KS. Kill secured. Killed. Killed. It's kind of a kind of rough. It's you, you kind of get these thoughts of I can either kill him or keep oh, here him, we go. Keep him out of the base. Oh! Oh! Nice snipe by Law. Eagle Eye Law. It slows him down, but it still works. Yep. <laughs> Movement made, mid has opened up. This will allow Envy to get the forward wards we saw in the early game. And uh, on the hunt, ooh. You try to go down, go down valiantly. Kwakuo falls trying to protect Proxen. And that's what it is. The few extra seconds, an immortal knows how far they can push that next thing to get their wolf from Seraph. Envy really wants to push him off here, but in goes Huni. <laughs> the 1v3. The equal still on Baron, though. This is all that he needs. Huni's just trying to buy time. And the Mountain Dragon allows them to do this with less members as well. Huni is almost 3v1-ing here. He's getting a, a three-fight staggered with a 2v1, but he is able to first to capitalize on that one. 
And it looks like they won't get to chase through Ninja's Qs. It does ha mean they have map control with Baron now, and they are still gonna go hard here. Rainover has been going every time he can pull the trigger, and it has cost him his life a few times, and possibly more teammates. The meat wall from Turtle and Hooney as they start to back up, and they will have on the hunt in just a few seconds, so no worries here. Well, they're gonna turn around. They want to engage. Oh, in comes Hobo with the ult. on the Wall Weaver. He flies right in. And it looks like they're gonna go for more kills, working the ground around them, working the rest of the members of Envy. They'll find Proxen on the outside. The flourish slows down Hooney, but he'll broken wings and he'll broken ankles on Proxen here if he can get in range. There's the stun. It looks like they're gonna need Pole Belter for this one. This allows at least a little bit of time for the base to breathe, but it oh. still means Immortals are getting that much bigger. Yeah. Proxen gets the trade kill, at least Adrian Jason in there. So he's getting something back, but they are down on the base, 27 minutes in of Envy. It's pretty brutal as far as AD carries go too, because Turtle's up 4K, but Hooney's getting caught. Oh, is he gonna get out? I think he will, I think he's Oh, one more Harpoon, it was in range. So much, so much just to get him. If he can hop over the wall, he can. It's They're gonna be a little help though. from Blue. Yeah, like you said, so much time, so many resources being used here just to take down one member who can cause a lot of trouble with the, the rest Shields of from Karma to enable your AD carries to be aggressive, but so far, Lot has just been kind of getting split from the team. He's getting picked off. They're not able to do it. And it may be Ninja right here, somebody that can actually help that engage happen. Maybe a Ninja Q into a Lot W. That long-range pick, that long-range stun. It's here looking for, what, a little poke? Right. No, he's, he's like a full support type oh. build. Just brutal. And uh, Rip in his final form. Yeah. Cooney, Cooney is making things happen, as you would usually see, feeling the pain in the top lane. And he's running in. You see who the team is already. He takes down Seraph outside the base. Immortals was already inside, turning the rest of it into shambles for Envy. And now it looks like they're on the Nexus turrets. Again, a very back and forth early game that has just taken control, been taken control by Immortals and seemingly after that are able to take down each cons each turret consecutively one after the other, finding that victory 30 minutes in. 16 to 13, Immortals take down Envy in game one. Really well played there in there by Immortals. They showed some weakness at the start. They were falling behind, but they had the strong side of the map. They had the bot lane that was winning. Yeah. Rainover was able to help exploit that, push that ahead, get early vision, allow Turtle and Adrian the you know free reign basically to kind of go just go nuts. And Lod was falling so far behind. Uh, Pole Belter did a really good job splitting things up with the Talia alts, and it was it was a very successful first showing for Mid lane this time. Very used to it with Huni back on the Aurelia this time. So really not even finding Ooh, the ban on the Kench, it. Riv. But also the Kench, yes. This is a great. I think this is gonna be first blood, Riv. He does have a flash. He can go over the wall. It'll force to follow. He actually flashes straight, knowing the kill would still be there. And Ninja cannot come up. You can almost hear Seraph saying, Ninja, please. But they both know it's a bad decision, and it's too late. Seraph goes down. First blood for Immortals. Not spotted out. That's what they're setting up for. Huni does not seem to be aware of it. And I think this should be able to be a kill on Huni unless he can make the outplay. Seraph super tanking the turret so the team can get under and do more damage without getting killed, I was going to say. It might be Proxen getting taken down, but they may Especially make... going damage. If you're going, not going tank, he's the one that needs to make something happen. Whoa, oh. you can see right there, down to 300 HP with just a few abilities from Immortals. Ninja still has the W, may look to go on the okay, back. The Abyssal Voyage wasn't close enough, and Ninja couldn't get the lockdown. There it is, but it's the flash attempt that makes it work. They're going to be able to get some mid-pressure down on this turret. And it looks like they may be able to drop it if the minion wave comes up. May not have enough time. Now, here's Lod. Yeah, got good it. rotation. The Ezreal all coming across. They're trying to thin out the wave. Not too much done there, though. And the five-man squad all here to take out the turret. Nicely played by Envy. Rainover gets caught. That'll be huge, because Immortals isn't even moving on the map to get something done themselves. This took them by surprise. Oh, my gosh. Nice kick. We'll see if they can make the escape. It's going to be tough. Seraph has flash, so he separated himself, but could go back over though. He could have went back over the wall. Back with his team. Well, that would have been wrong sign on the map. It's so. the bad way, you're drawing him in, but the team could have, uh, I'm saying it could have given the other portion of the team enough time to get there. They draw it out, so they actually will get the kill onto Adrian. This is the <laughs> spot I thought he would have gone. Yeah. But then you're pulling four members in that probably would have made a bad decision. I don't know what Adrian was it's saying. actually going to be very, very close onto Seraph. That's the gravity field going down, locks him back in. This here too. 
Ooh, this is risky. Oh, he's gonna have nice. They're gonna have to use everything on Rain over in the front, which means Fobalter and Huni could have people to dive on. There just isn't enough room to close the gap. And in the bot lane, Hakuo goes down. Ultimate was used, so Temper Fate is not there as well when they come up. Both alts actually in the bot lane were used with some summoners. Rotation two, four members here from Envy. Oh, hello. Can they get done? Rainover says, I have enough tank to call them up. This is a bit of a bait, but it may be with his life. And they do take the claw. It's into Rainover. They take him down Looking with his flash dive. going nice as well. Kick. A kick back into the team exactly where he needs to be. Can Lod finish it out here? The damage traded is not the same, and Lod has to take a few extra shots. Finally taken down by Hakuo. A Seraph TPing as well. The whole team's coming in. They're going for the long haul on this one. That is Adrian going down. His ultimate was used in the last fight. So the heal isn't there for the rest of the Immortals crew. Pole belts are on the outside, delivering in the lasers. Huni now goes down, and it's an I think I can situation for Pole Belter. He thinks he can go in. He takes the first few on the fight, and he almost gets Ninja. Rex that's coming. Rex that's coming. Proxen. He's and that's gonna be. Brain over coming in. He didn't have anything on the right. Seraph tries to back, but it's awarded. Brush and Pole Belter is picking up everything he thought he could. They fly through the, the turret. Laser hits, but there's no more speed to be caught. And they may keep actually going. try they to hit this, this one. Right over what takes the attacking? turret. No, that's Pole Belter on the turret. The heal comes in. Adrian said he was coming up and gives him the wish as they dive the turret. Did get taken down. They're going to try to chase down Huni. Lands the Q. Nicely played. And they should be able to get the eat. This is going to be enough time. We'll see if they can get yep. the kill. Gets the lick to stick. Oh, very Ooh. nice. Sonic Wave resonating strike. Follow up after the kick. Had to use a bit, but they get a bit of pressure. Enough big yes. for the team. 3 0 6. Ooh, nice ult. That diamond in the rough, Lod was talking about. The binding over as well. They CC'd a bit on top of each other, but it doesn't matter. They CC'd Pole Belter down, and that's the best CC there is. Well played. Pole Belter, no Immortals clinch. playing against TSM, a top team. Start to go with the flow of Immortals. Envy still needs to play their game. They still need to know they can have lane they control. Here, they might lose a little bit of it. Huni and Proxen very low. Seraph has to turn here, and it looks like they're going to go down. That's one kill, and unfortunately, Immortals aren't going to have to make Envy guess on how to play next. They're going to take Envy down and take control. Yeah, when they saw the Soraka coming in. Bissell Voyage to the bot lane. Proxen and Seraph take a ride. The Tempered Fate locks out the turret. They're trying to get the sustain. They take down Adrian. They'll be able to take down the rest of the members more clean. The Zanya's from Ninja. He should be Pole Belter's next focus. He goes down as the team trades two for two. Very quickly after that, they're going to go for a lose, journey. Bro. It's going to be Rain over they're first. Stop. Pole Belter rose. Rain over took the block of the Cosmic Binding. So Pole Belter could continue to finish kills. The cleanse and the flash. Is it enough for the chase? Another binding. We're getting some frequent flyer miles out of these journeys, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's going to be Hakuo that goes down. Can they finalize that kill? It's an ace, and there goes Lod. Deja vu for and the Immortals. They feel like they are very much in the lead and are not letting go whatsoever. The turret falls. They push Ninja nice out blinding. the left side. Proxen very low and has to just sit on the back. Everybody's really being bait more than they are. Somebody that can enter the fight for Envy. The claw over the wall, and it will not be taken by Ninja. They are just trying to deter Immortals right now, but they have not turned a blind eye. They are continuously going at this fight. And one after the other, Ninja finally goes in. He's taken down Adrian. It seems to be the first focus that Envy wants in this fight, but they use a lot of resources to do it each time. He tra it's a mid laner trading his life and his flash right. to kill off the support. Not they found, but still came out on top. Yeah, they do get the kill. Oh, here All we go. Right. Pole Belter, they're going to kick him in. Hiya! Right back, Proxen could be going, or rather, oh my God, going that down on that Lod. one. Yeah, the Chaos Storm, very scary. Lod almost has his parade rained on. He'll have to go back, so Ooh. they lose damage on the turret. True shot barrage almost hitting correctly. Here comes Huni. This is always the chase. It seems like Envy has that upper hand, but then they're running back as Immortals try to get the cavalry to come in. Well, if they can get their pick, it's going to be on four now. So the fight Earth may going work. Down. They're engaging. Tom Gets going in with Lee Sin. Can Good. they get the play? Take a bit. They've been on Adrian the whole time. Proxen focusing Adrian. Turtle has Seraph on him, but they they're all focusing now. They did turn back on a pole belt, so the communication now flowing for Envy. Can they make any more count? Who needs the one in the middle? But again, they find Lod right away and delete the damage. When you have no DPS, you see what happens to Envy. They continue to turn and run the fight. Turtle just with a hook shot, Mystic. Over on the side to hit Seraph, and now Envy has been pushed out they of take the inhibit. 
Ninja is up here. What is he doing? Ooh, can he get out? I don't know. Turtle is low. This is... He has he, no ult, though. With the tank, it's a money gain that they can get, but their minion waves are pushed so far up as one here comes kill enough. Did Ninja just dance this out enough for the team to come back and pull something in their favor? Ninja goes down, Flash is down, however, so resources used there. And Envy keep trying to grab that first rung of the ladder to get back in, but it seems they just keep slipping. Does he take it? He gets popped up immediately. It can be finished as well. Turtle left the fight. He said Sayonara, and the rest of the team may be Oh, in. it kills him out of the air. Hit. Amazing hit by Hooney. He is making it work right now for the team, but he may go down valiantly here as the rest of the members get out alive. Turtle, Adrian, and Raid over. Get out, because he... Oh, it's so close to coming up. They just started... Oh! 830! That's Can my range for both junglers as it comes out. It's gonna go over to Rain over. It was not a proxy to be had in sight. Hooney's and not now, here. The, the resulting fight. Pobalter goes straight for Lot. They get a lot of damage onto Seraph, who needs to be in the fight for multiple attacks. Now he's completely forced out. The Chaos Storm kicks once again. And he gets thumped down. 47 seconds on the clock. 28 seconds on to Seraph. He's really the tank that's going to come in to deter this. He has the HP that immortals need to cut through. Everybody else is going to drop like flies. Right now, Hooney flashes in on to Ninja. They take down most of the crowd control. Hakuul falls next. There's the rest of it. And now Proxen can only do so it. much with a one-two punch. Envy falls, and their next is to follow. A 2-0 from Immortals, and it's going to be a 31-minute game. Immortals takes down Envy. They make it happen. Gutsy Baron call there. Envy not respecting it. Seraph too far away in the bot lane. Ninja was actually much closer to the play than Seraph was, but he just didn't make the rotation. He continued to push out the wave. He needed to be there immediately. Huni was dead. Huni was in base. So this was potentially a 5v4 had they collapsed in time. Could have been a disaster for Immortals, but Envy is too slow to the play. They give up the Baron. They give up the game. Absolutely incredible. The last tempered fade as well. I was just checking Rainover yeah. and Proxen, but due to the level, Proxen would have actually been 30 damage short.